Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Norwegian cruise experts, and today I'm on board the incredible brand new Norwegian Prima. This ship truly has something for everyone. Whether it's this amazing three-story go-kart track, all the brand new dining venues, the amazing technology that they've integrated with the entire ship, or just the amazing design and artwork, you're gonna love your time here on board the Prima. Now today we're gonna tour every single public space here on board this incredible ship. We have all the rooms and suites for you to tour on our channel as well. And when you're ready to book your next Norwegian, Region, or Oceana cruise, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel. We are your cruise experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise lines, and we know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way. Now let's tour the Norwegian Prima. Now we've started off right here on the main pool deck. You can see the pool behind me. And I did want to point out that the intentional design of the ship is really to spread people out. You've got the infinity pools down below as well, more sun decks up above. And so there's a lot of places to really spread out on this ship. Now, as we head around the pool deck, you'll see the loungers. They're really nice and comfy. I love the padded headrest. And another nice little touch is you have cocktail tables on each and every single one. Now you've got the main pool here right in the middle, and you're also gonna have a really nice large screen. So of course you can watch the game here. They'll have some nice serene moments during the day like they do here as well. But the entire space, like the entire ship, is a dynamic entertainment zone as well. Now just behind me is the Waves pool bar, and of course, if you're gonna have a great cruise ship pool, you've gotta have a great pool bar, and it is the people here on board. It's the crew that really make this ship happen. The ship is absolutely stunning, but the crew members are here to make you smile and laugh and provide incredible service. Now as we head around the deck, you're gonna have hot tubs on either side. Those do look out at the ocean with some incredible ocean views, and one really nice thing is the flow. So you actually have a small bridge on the far side of the pool so you can walk all the way around. And another interesting thing here is that you have the Surfside Cafe on one side. You're also gonna have the outdoor restaurant for Palomar on the other side. And then as we head around, we're gonna check out the wave slide. Now on the far side of the pool deck, you're gonna find the towel exchange. So you can always have a fresh towel. They also have life jackets and they'll have a lifeguard on duty. But as always, make sure you keep an eye on the kiddos. There's so much fun to be had here on this ship for every single member of the family. Now we just stepped up a deck and just behind me, you're gonna find the wave water slide. Now water slides have become a signature of Norwegian Cruise Lines over the last several vessels. This one is awesome. It's a tube slide, so you can have fun with one or two passengers. And what's great about it is they see that tube here, they actually feed the rafts right back up to the top. So you come down, you'll go slide up and down and then head all the way down. Now, as we head further forward, I wanted to point out the photo spot here. So all around the ship, you're gonna see a new integration with technology. So there's actually a camera about 100 feet in front of us. You can tap your card right here and you can create your own selfie video. You're gonna find these types of things all around the ship, just another spot to have a little fun and interaction. Now, as we head further forward, you're gonna find the splash pad. So this is a place where kids can be kids. They can run around, they've got all kinds of different jets. They turn on, off, come up from the ground, come from the ceiling. They've got some waterfall effects as well. And what I really like is they put all of these loungers wrapped all the way around it. So I know for me and my family, this would be a great place to camp out while the kiddos run around, have a great time. And then in the middle, they're also gonna have some shaded loungers as well. So whether you're looking for some fun in the sun, you're looking for a little bit in the shade, there's a lot of spaces to spread out. Now, as we head across to the port side of the ship, you're gonna find another large lounge space. So I like they have this shaded area here with the really comfy loungers. You're gonna have sofas and love seats here. And then as we continue to head forward, you've got these really nice day beds. Once again, large, extra comfortable, and quite a few more of the loungers. You'll see here that you also have the umbrella so you can have shade or sun, or you can change it up as you'd like. Now, I did want to point out behind me, you've got showers here. So you're going to find that in every single area where they have water, where they have the hot tubs, the pools, you have that area to shower off. And that goes in with the wave water slide and then, of course, the kids' splash pad as well. Now, we just headed up one last deck here and you've got another sun deck. And it's also the loading space for wave water slide. You can see the entrance right there. You also see where the tubes come up. They're all solo tubes here. They're a blast. And I did want to point out that 51 inches is the minimum height. So that's the minimum height here on board to have a great time with that slide, but there's so many other options as well. 
Now, in addition to be the loading area, it's more sun deck. So they have quite a few loungers here. They'll set them up all the way around the top deck. So you can see there's all kinds of places to head around. Now, I did want to take you a little bit further aft on the ship now, because from here you can get a really good view of the three-story racetrack. Now, we'll take you over there in just a minute, but one of the things that I love about Norwegian is as they evolve their product, they truly increase and make it better each and every single time. So you can see you have one, two, three stories here, from the Joy to the Bliss to the Encore and now to the Prima, each and every single one has been taken to the next level. I just did it last night and it's an absolute blast. Now I'm up here at the observation area of the Prima Speedway. It's another first here on board. It's the biggest first ever three-story speed track at sea and it is an absolute blast. What I love about this space is they've integrated it into the funnel. So it's a space that's seldom used. It wraps all the way around and it goes three different stories as you go. You'll see here that you have the Formula One style cars that you're gonna utilize here. I do have to say I fit in them, which is something I was concerned about. I really appreciated that. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to sign up for this when you get here on board. It does come at an additional cost, but in my mind, it's absolutely worth it. Now the idea behind it is that you're racing each and every single lap. So it's not the entire time you're here, it's lap by lap. So essentially the person who gets the, the fastest lap is gonna be in first place. In fact, you see behind me, they actually have a podium here so you can come up, take some pictures and brag to your friends. Now another really cool thing about the observation area up here is that they also have laser guns so you can help your friends along. There's a little dot at the back of each and every single one of the cars. And if you can get that, it actually gives them a boost. So there's a boost on the steering wheel itself. So you can get one of those each and every single lap. But if you have your friends that have your back, you can get as many boosts as they possibly can provide. Now, what I love about this is it's what this ship is all about. It's fun for every member of the family. I know my kiddos are gonna absolutely love it. And the kid inside of me thinks it's an absolute blast. Where else can you be cruising through Europe and cruising on a three-story go-kart track? Now, I wanted to show you just a little bit more about the laser guns because they are super cool. So they've got little dots here. That's how many shots you have left. All you gotta do is click that and it's gonna go ahead and reload the gun. And the idea behind it is it's totally interactive, but what's great is you can actually see how successful you are. I have to say it's really hard to do. What you have to do is you gotta focus on the little green dots on the top. Now, if you do hit it, your friends are gonna get a boost. Now you have to avoid the red dots and it does alternate a bit. So it's a little bit of a competition of those up here. This is a complimentary activity. You can come up and do it anytime that you'd like. And they've got the screens on the far side so that you can compete. So you can see here, this one had 101 shots, got four of the green, zero of the red. But the whole concept is to make the entire ship digital, interactive, and an absolute blast. Now after your Formula One style race with your friends at the Speedway, you can head on back to the Prima Speedway bar. Now it's a bar that you can utilize anytime. It's got some great views out the side of the ship. You can also see a bit out the aft as well. They've got beers on tap, all of your favorite selections, and of course, the famous Norwegian bartenders. Now a brand new attraction here on the Prima, or may I say series of attractions, is the stadium. Now this is all about family fun and it's all complimentary. So we'll start off with a little bit of shuffleboard. I've played a lot of shuffleboard in my life. Of course, the stand-up kind and the bar game. In fact, one of our favorite bars at home has this and we've spent quite a few hours playing against each other. So this is just a place where you can step in, have a bit of fun. And one really cool thing is they have the rules listed as well. Now I wanted to take you over to something I've actually never seen before. It's a cylindrical ping pong table. So it's wrapped all the way around and the net, if you will, is also all the way around. And they've got these really cool LED lights in here. Let's see what we got, Taylor. There we go, keep it in game, there we go. All right. Woo. <laughs> it's an absolute blast. And something that I really appreciate is like a lot of things, you try something new. That's one of my favorite things on a cruise ship is trying something and I don't know, maybe I'll even build one of these at home. It could be a lot of fun. Now that we've uh, semi-mastered this, <laughs> I don't know that you actually can master this, but there we go. Ah! <laughs> Good times. Now as we work our way back, there's a series of attractions here. Here you're actually sitting and playing soccer. So there's a little ball in there. You have your friends sit on the other side and you try to score a goal underneath them. Well, I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Let's keep going. Now as we head further back, 
just about everybody on a Norwegian cruise, well, every adult, of course, gets the beverage package, you have your own beer pong table here. So you can have a lot of fun playing that. And then as we head to the far side, I love this foosball table. Now I've played a lot of foosball on cruise ships and at home myself, but what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So you can have three friends on either side. That's what cruising is all about. It's bringing friends together, family together, and having an absolute blast. Now, those of you who love ping pong, of course, they have the traditional ping pong tables up here. It is lit, so they've got all the LED lights all the way around so you can play day and night. And then we'll wrap up right here with the pickleball court. Now, pickleball is a lot of fun. It's become very, very popular here. So they've got a single court there. Once again, grab a paddle and get the game on. Now, just behind me, you're gonna find something I've been looking forward to since I first saw the plans, and it is the Rush Slides. So it's dueling slides here. They're enclosed and they go all the way from deck 18 up here, all the way down to deck eight. The way it works is you'll just head right into the queue here. You'll head right on up. You step into a sack of sorts. So you're gonna put your feet in there, you'll hold on, and then you're gonna rush all the way down. Now, what's really cool about that is you're going against your friends. Now, I was in the blue slide and I won, so maybe it's the slide or maybe it's the burgers I had at the local. Either way, it's an absolute blast and at no additional cost. So now we're at tea time. Yet again, another cruise classic reinvented by Norwegian on board the Prima. What's so unique about this nine hole mini golf course is that you're gonna get a magic golf ball and it actually interacts with the entire golf experience. Now I wanted to start right here. This is actually the last hole. This is hole number nine. And something that's brand new, super interesting, because this does come at an additional cost, but I'll tell you, you can win prizes. They have cash prizes. You can get access to the Speedway. Of course, you can also win a cruise. That's the top prize here. So what you do is you go ahead and hit the button a little bit like a Las Vegas slot machine. It's gonna go through, and then based on what you get, that's the prize that you're gonna play for. And in fact, it does adjust just a little bit based on that prize. Let's see if I've got anything going today. and like normal, just to the side. But I did wanna take you around this super cool miniature golf experience. Now there's nine holes, as I mentioned. This is a unique one as well. So you head on in here, you're actually gonna strike a pose. This is a photo booth. Each and every single one of the experiences interacts with the golf ball, it helps to keep score, but it also lights up, it activates things, and it really is a super cool experience. Now, what I love about the reinvention of this particular classic is that there's all kinds of hype involved. It's a first of a kind. It's really, truly unique. But at the end of the day, it's just mini golf, which is the perfect game to play with family and friends. I know my daughter and I will be here pretty often. Let's see. Yep, just like normal. Take a little sip and tap it in. Now another first and a really cool fun activity on board is Bullseye. These are five individual dart booths. So if you wanna play darts with your friends, they've got a wide variety to choose from, but it's unlike any other cruise ship, it is digital. So there's cameras up above and well, those are your friends who cheat at darts, they can't do that here. So what you do is you sign up, you pick a game, they're gonna give you the darts right here and then you're gonna play against your friends. Now you can have quite a few that can come in and play with you. You've got a nice seating area here as well. Now with the game I'm playing right now, it looks like I'm supposed to hit 15. Let me give a shot at that. It looks like I did not hit 15, which is not surprising in any way whatsoever. So now one more time, this is Taylor's turn and I'm just gonna take it because it's fun. Let's see, there we go. Now I got 15, even though I was supposed to get 15 last time. So you can see how good I am at darts. And let's see, here we go. All right, what do we got here? Well, 0 for three, shocking to all of you, I know. So now we're headed down the drop. Now this is a true drop slide. I've never done one quite like this before. So essentially there's a acrylic panel on the bottom here. It's gonna drop open and I'm gonna head straight down 10 stories. So you're gonna cross your arms right here. You're gonna, well, Cuddle exactly. up just a little bit. Just lay down. Put your head back, take a little nap, and then, well, yeah, exactly. let the countdown begin. Now, I know when Taylor and I first saw the plans for this, that the Norwegian put them out, this was one of the things that I was looking forward to the most. Well, let's see if it lives up to the hype. Wait, did you say the floor drops out? Eh, oh well. 
Let's give it a shot. You know what they say, sit back, relax, and go on a cruise. Four, three, two, one. That is awesome! Now I gotta head back up. So now we're headed into the Galaxy Pavilion. This is the virtual reality center here on board. Debuted for the first time on the Norwegian Joy, and it's incredible how much technology has evolved even since the launch of the Joy. So we've walked through a very, very cool entranceway. We're greeted by our friend here, and it's gonna wrap all the way around. So this does come at an additional cost, I wanted to point that out, but there is so much fun to be had in here. Let's start on this side. So as you walk in, what you're gonna see is a wide variety of rides. So just behind me, you have this really large center here. You can see where you can stand right in the middle. So there's four different areas. And what's really cool with a lot of these is you can play a variety of games. It's not just one option. So here you can dance along, party, doing a little hopping back and forth. That's a lot of fun. Though my favorite, I think so far, is the dark ride. So right here, you can go with up to seven additional friends. So you can get eight in there at one time. You put on the 3D glasses, you can hunt zombies, you can hunt werewolves, and you're part of the ride experience yourself. We've had a blast. We've been back several times already. Now behind me is the VR maze. You'll recognize this from some of the previous ships as well. You put on the VR goggles, and even though it's a relatively small space, you're reacting to the virtual reality. And that's what all is about in here. You have different 3D, 4D, and as they say, this is a 7D ride. Just behind me, you can see them racing, which is an absolute blast. I did that one as well. And one of the really cool things about a lot of the rides is there's a screen where you can actually see what they're seeing. I gotta say, that's a lot harder than it looks, but it is an absolute blast. Now, as we continue around, you've got another racing game right here. You've got a little bit more information on the games that you can select. So you can see that you can tap there to pay. Um, and then as we head right around the corner, you're gonna have a sports area. So I did play golf here yesterday, but it looks like you can play hockey, soccer. There's quite a few different options, even football. And once again, you're interacting with the screen. So they've got the sensors wrapped all the way around here. Grab your cubs, play your favorite course. Now over on the side here, you've got a really cool interactive VR Sea-Doo style game where you can play with up to three friends. So there's four passengers that can utilize this. And what you'll see is the entire wall is a screen. What I've really been astounded by is the advancements in the technology. You can see that that LED screen is absolutely perfect. In fact, I'd love to watch the Super Bowl on that myself. It's absolutely massive and a lot of fun. Now wrapped around the middle area, you're gonna find a racing game. So you can do a little Formula One racing. Once again, this is familiar for those who've seen it on the other ships, but as the advances go along, you're really going into the future. Just behind me here is the Lightspeed Cup. You can see it's another one of those games where they've got four seats. Now that's something I really appreciate. They've got solo games, or you can come with your friends and just have an absolute blast. Now, as we continue around the other side here, You've got the VR Infinite Battle. So this is another one of those battle style games here. You've got Beat Hero. Think of Dance Dance Revolution to the absolute infinity. And then right here is the VR Starship. I did a roller coaster ride here, but like all the games, they can mix and match and make it into all kinds of different things based on your personal preference. Now we're gonna head right around the corner here. You have these cages set up. And what's really cool about that is same thing. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but when you put on the virtual reality goggles, you step in there, you can play a variety of games, and basically you're, you're having a little bit of a space fight, if you will. Now I wanted to point out one thing. This is what you're gonna utilize here on board. Of course, they clean everything, but it's pretty cool because you put that on and then you'll keep this with you and you can utilize that with all of the goggles. Now finally is the escape room. So just behind me here is the escape room. It's exactly what it sounds like. You can get together with a group of friends, put your skills to the test and see who gets out first. Now the Norwegian Prima is slated to visit all kinds of incredible and scenic parts of our world. And the best place to see it from is the observation lounge. So this is very familiar to those of you who are Norwegian fans. Once again, absolutely stunning, beautiful modern decor. You're gonna see several different styles of seating. So you've got these small nooks and areas. In fact, that's a theme of the entire ship is lots and lots of intimate spaces where you can sneak away, hang out. In fact, my wife loves to come up here during the day because it's the perfect spot for sewing. 
You got all the beautiful lights. So you have 270 degrees of windows wrapped all the way around. So you get the beautiful views out and then lots of seating areas. So you've got chaise loungers over here, couches, chairs, and then towards the front, you're gonna find the bar. Now the bartenders here, once again, are absolutely incredible. You see you have this beautiful bar wrapped all the way around. It's bottom lit, so you get that really cool aesthetic. And then they have the full bar service here. You've got some beers on tap, of course, all your favorite hard liquors and wines. Now in this area, you're gonna find the tables for two and four, so you've got cocktail tables here. And then as we wrap further around, you're gonna find even more of the chairs looking out the sides and the front of the ship. Up here, you'll see even more of the art collection that this incredible ship has to offer. Now, one of the great parts about this particular space is it feels like home. You've got this large sectional sofa looking out the front. In fact, my friends and I were here yesterday. They have all these chaise loungers looking out the very front of the ship as well, all aim to take advantage of those amazing views. Now on the opposite side from the bar, you're gonna find the dining area. So they'll mix this up throughout the day. So it's another one of those places where you can have some fast, casual bites to eat. You see here, they have some fruits, they've got some desserts set up. And what I like about this is you can also head up here in the evening for maybe a coffee or a tea. So you've got the complimentary beverage station here. They have some infused waters, hot water, coffee, tea. And what I stop by here all the time with my little one is of course for the hot chocolate. Now, as we continue to head aft on the ship, they do have the hand washing stations here, of course, because they have the food and drink area. And then you're gonna find more of what you had on the other side. You've got those small intimate seating areas tucked away for two, perfect spot for a book during the day, or come on up here for a cocktail in the evening. You see a continuation of the beautiful decor on this side as well. You can imagine heading into your den at home, grabbing a book, cuddling up, and enjoying the world as it passes by. Now a brand new dining concept for Norwegian that I'd like to introduce to you here is Palomar. This is the very first in the fleet and I believe that it's going to be expanded because it's fantastic. It's a Mediterranean seafood style restaurant. So it is a fine dining experience, has a wide variety of appetizers. And as you work your way through, of course they have that whole grilled lobster, the Mediterranean sea bass, or one of my all time favorites, filet mignon. So you have a little bit of surf, a little bit of turf, and all of your favorite Mediterranean flavors. Now you'll see here in the dining area, it's not a massive restaurant. You're definitely gonna wanna pre-book this. You do have tables for two, four, or larger, for larger groups of eight or above. And they also have a fantastic outdoor dining area as well. Now, one of the signatures of this space is the floor to ceiling windows where you can take advantage of those incredible views. And then you also have a fantastic bar. Personally, I love the open dining experience where you can see into the kitchen. You can get all those flavors as soon as you walk in. So you can sit here at the start, have a fantastic drink from one of the bartenders. Of course, they have an amazing wine menu as well, and they'll be happy to pair those for you. And then you can see they're getting ready for dinner right now, and you can have all of that as part of the overall dining experience. So now we're headed into one of my favorite restaurants, and it's a true fan favorite, Food Republic. This is a fusion style restaurant where you're gonna get your favorites from Thailand, China, Japan, and California. So you have several different options to choose from. Now, right behind me is the sushi bar. I love sushi, but on this ship, they also have a dedicated sushi bar as well. So you can get your favorite rolls here, and then you're gonna find a lot of options from the Grill Republic, whether you want those teriyaki chicken kebabs, or a wide variety of different options of meats. And then they also have some fantastic soups and noodle dishes. In fact, Taylor had the pho yesterday, and we're coming back again tonight for that once again. Now the space itself has different styles of seating. You have booth style seating, tables for two and four. And then of course you can sit right here at the sushi bar where you can be part of the dining experience. Now, like the other restaurants up on this level, you have amazing floor to ceiling windows. This is a fantastic place to dine when you're sailing through scenic areas. It's also a great place just to sit back and relax. Now, as we head further around, what you're gonna notice right away is this is considerably larger than the other food republics. This debuted on the Escape. It's been on every single ship since then, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it added to some other ships in the fleet. Now, as we head around the corner, you've got more of the sushi bar style seating here. And I wanted to point out how you order. So all you have to do is you'll sit down, you'll access the menu directly from the iPad here. You just click on it, it'll send it right back to the kitchen and they'll bring out your favorite dishes. Now I wanted to head just a little bit further on, you see more of the exquisite art and the restaurant wraps all the way around to the back corner here to have the largest food republic yet and for great reason. 
So now we're inside the Surfside Cafe, which is the casual buffet style option here on board. For those of you who are looking for something quick to grab that's absolutely delicious, you can hop up here for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even for some late night snacks. You're gonna find all your classics that you would expect on any cruise ship, and of course, all the garden cafes on Norwegian. Now here you've got a salad bar. They're gonna open up here in just a few minutes. Now this is one of my favorite spots, it's pizza. You can see them back there hand tossing the pizza. They also have a really cool pizza oven, so it's gonna come on out and be delicious as we spoke about. Now here you've got one of the beverage stations. So all of this is complimentary. They've got hot water, tea, and hot chocolate. I know my daughter and I like to peek up here every once in a while to grab some of that. You've got coffee and decaf coffee. You're also gonna find the Nestle Vitality stations. So it's infused water later on in the afternoons and evenings. They'll have lemonade, iced tea as well. For breakfast, it's where you're gonna find those classic orange juice, apple juice, and grapefruit juice style options as well. Now, as we continue to head further back, we're gonna find the pasta station. So the pasta station here is where you can head on over and you can mix and match and create your own. It's all about that customization. So you let them know which sauce you want, which meat you want in there, and they're gonna go ahead and make that right there for you. In addition to that, you're also gonna find the grill. So the grill is where you're gonna have steak, fish, chicken. See the grill just behind it where it gets its name. They also have some great vegetables and some fantastic soup options. Now we'll stop to the first dessert station. Now, it's not quite the most important. I'll take you back there in just a minute, but it looks like you've got some cinnamon rice pudding and some chocolate sauce that I'm sure is delicious. Next up, you're gonna find the hot entrees. Now I've really enjoyed the Asian dishes that they prepared here. You've got ginger teriyaki beef right there, some fantastic rice. You also have a carvery. So they're gonna pull that out here in just a minute. And then as you continue along, you can see more made to order. So they're constantly making the food so it's fresh here. And then finally, we've got the fruit and cold cuts. So you can come by here for some fruit, lunch, and dinner. Now I did wanna point out for breakfast, all of this is gonna be completely different. So it evolves throughout the day. They're gonna have an egg station, they're gonna have the grab and goes, pancakes, waffles, and all of your favorites. Now we've gotten to the most important part. You know, in fact, it's actually the most important part of the entire ship. It's not the rudder, it's not the engine, it's the soft serve ice cream machine. So aptly named Taylor right here. I'm gonna grab a little cone. And of course, why do one when you can have two? See you there. All right, we've got one side. Now we've got the other. And as you guys know, I've been known to make my own swirl, so two for one. Mmm. Mm hmm I'm gonna need a minute. Now to complement the soft serve ice cream, you've got the full dessert station here. I think there's about 10 different options. It's all grab and go. So you've got that combination of fresh made to order and grab and go. Finally, as you would expect in any restaurant, you're gonna have the bar. Now I did wanna point out the fresh squeeze orange juice. It's one of my favorites. I'll usually start my day up here. You can get an orange juice. They also have a coffee maker up here, so you can have espresso and the full bar service, and they're gonna provide full service throughout the entire area. Now, another treat that they've added on is the Surfside Grill. So this is that classic pool grill. Now, here you're gonna find hot dogs, hamburgers, sausages. They've added each and every day some different mix and match options as well. So you've got a small cafe style atmosphere here where you can get some food inside out here and grab a seat. Now I did want to point out that we're right next to the Vibe Beach Club. So this is a really quick area to come in, grab a bite here or in the cafe and head on out and enjoy your adult time. Now one of the most beautiful spots on the ship to check out the scenery is actually right here in the Surfside Cafe. So just like in the Garden Cafe on the other ships, you're gonna find they have tables for two and four. They also have high top tables with bar style seating, and it wraps all the way around these panoramic windows. Now, something else that I really appreciate is they also have outdoor seating. So as you head out towards the pool area, there's an outdoor cafe area. So whichever you prefer, inside, outside, there's plenty of seating, then you can enjoy a great meal with the family. Now, for those guests who are looking for a relaxed, adults-only experience here on board, you have the Vibe Beach Club. Now, this does come at an additional cost, and there's very few passes that are available, so you're gonna wanna snag those right away. What this is all about is it's a place to escape, relax, and of course, take advantage of the incredible service. 
I'm gonna start off right here at the bar. Once again, some of the best bartenders in the entire world. They're gonna keep the drinks flowing. They're gonna keep you smiling, laughing, and entertained throughout. You have a really nice large bar here that wraps all the way around. Just behind it, I wanted to point out that it has a fantastic water feature. So that's the sound that you hear when you come in, nice and relaxing. Now, in addition to the bar seating here, you're gonna have quite a bit of upgraded seating all the way around. You have these really nice, comfy, overstuffed loungers. You'll find that you have the cocktail tables in between each and every single one. And of course, they will provide drink service all throughout the space. Underneath the awning here, they have some day beds. There's a couple different types here. Now keep in mind, they can put up the umbrellas if you want some shade, or you can get a nice tan. Now what this space is all about, like I mentioned, is relaxing, and to me, nothing says relaxing like an incredible hot tub. You have two incredible hot tubs that extend to the edge of the ship, so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the amazing views. So now we're inside my happy place, my home away from home, the beautiful haven here on board the Prima. Now it's very different than anything they've ever done before. And in my mind, they've absolutely hit it out of the park. We've started off right here in the concierge area. So what I love about this is there's plenty of place to sit. You can plan all of your reservations, take care of all the details, but keep in mind your butler's gonna do all of that for you as well. They work together as an amazing team to take care of dining, shore excursions, and frankly, just about anything you want. Being in the Haven is about having what you want, when you want for every single member of the family, which to me makes the perfect vacation experience. Now, something that's brand new here on the Prima and I know is gonna be a major hit is that you can enter directly from the Haven elevator bank. So on this ship, every single one of the Haven suites is at the aft of the ship. It's the aft third and all have access to this elevator bank. So whichever floor you're staying on, you can take it right on up and you enter right into the Haven area. Now, in addition to being the concierge lounge, you also have the full Haven lounge in here. There's a ton of beautiful furniture and plenty of space for everyone. In fact, that's one of the themes that you're gonna see here in the Haven is that it's quite a bit larger than on previous ships and they have a spot for every single passenger. Now, as we head further in, one of the big hits on the Breakaway Plus class ships and the Breakaway class ships is the Haven Bar. In fact, we have a lot of customers who follow their favorite Haven bartenders around, and that's how they pick their crews. They've doubled down on that here, and here is the first bar. What you'll notice right away is it's considerably larger than what they've done before. This is a big part of the Haven experience, whether you're having a drink or you just wanna come and have a nice coffee, they have this great seating area on the side and on the far side as well, and a much larger bar that wraps all the way around. Now, as we head further in, I just wanted to point out, you have some beautiful pieces from Matisse right here. The Haven, like the rest of the Norwegian Prima, has an incredible art collection. In fact, it's the most that Norwegian has ever spent on art on a ship, and the entire ship is a piece of art itself. Now, at the front of the lounge, you have a continuation with two more large lounge spaces. They've got intimate spaces and much larger where you can meet with friends, family before you head into dinner. In fact, dinner's just best here in the Haven restaurant. We'll take you in there in just a second. But one of the things that I really love about this space is the floor to ceiling windows. There is an enormous amount of space in here for viewing and this ship visits some of the most beautiful, iconic locations on the planet. And the Haven is a phenomenal space to see it from, whether you're inside or you're out on the sun deck. Now, just around the corner is the final Haven lounge space. Once again, absolutely beautiful and an incredible art collection. The Haven restaurant is second to none in the cruise industry, and it's up against the fine dining establishments of the world. They have absolutely delicious meal options here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day, and that's included in your Haven fare. In addition to that, you can actually order from the Haven restaurant menu into your suite and have white tablecloth service, and you can arrange all of that with your butler. Now, the dining experience is a la carte, and something that I absolutely love is they go out of their way to accommodate what your preferences are. They're gonna have a rotational menu that's absolutely delicious. Of course, they'll have your favorites each and every single day as well. They have an amazing wine collection. So if you're a vinophile, of course, they can pair that with some of the exquisite dishes that they serve in here. Now, just behind here is actually a breakfast bar. So when you come for breakfast, if you want a little bit quicker service, you can grab and go with some items, or of course, you can utilize that, sit and have them customized to your preferences. Now, the first thing that I notice is the size of the Haven restaurant. It's the largest that they've had by far. And what that means is they're gonna have plenty of space for every single passenger so they can come and dine as they please. 
You've got booth style seating here. You've got larger tables for 10, tables for two, four, six, but of course they can accommodate just about any group request. Now the Haven restaurant experience continues right here outside. I personally love that because my favorite is to dine al fresco. Now you could start your day with breakfast as you sail into one of the incredible ports that this ship visits, or of course lunch and dinner, whether it's a sea day or a port day, you're gonna have the same exquisite menu to choose from and of course the amazing crew. The Haven crew are the very best in the business and you're gonna love the service that they provide, whether it's in the restaurant or out here on the sun deck. Now you're gonna see the lower level of the sun deck first. Up above is another sun deck just for the Haven and we'll take you there in just a moment. They have these really nice large round day beds here. You also have these really thick padded loungers. I was laying on one yesterday. They're incredibly comfortable and even big enough for me. Another nice little touch is next to every single one, you're gonna see a cocktail table. They will provide full cocktail service out here throughout the day. So of course, whatever it is that you wanna drink, eat, they'll be happy to provide that. You also have these cabanas here. And what's really great about this particular space is that there's a ton of furniture. You can be in the shade. They have, of course, the umbrellas over on the far side there, or you can come on out here and get a nice tan. Now, as we head further aft, I wanted to show you the thing I am most excited about, and that is this incredible Infinity Edge pool. What you'll see here is you've got seating all the way around the side. You can put your toes in the water. Maybe you want a little bit of cool off but the views from the infinity pool are incredible. In fact, when we met the Prima in the shipyard just a few months ago, one of the things that we noticed right away is that it extends off the back of this deck. So you get more than just the illusion as you walk on out, you're sailing in and out of an incredible port or just enjoying a beautiful day at sea. This spot is absolutely spectacular. Now, in addition to this amazing infinity edge pool, they also included some spa amenities back here. Now the Prima itself has so much to do with spa, rejuvenation, relaxation, in addition to the vacation experience. And they've put in a finished sauna and an ice room in the back for just the Haven guests to utilize as well. Now in there, what I like about it is you can do a full circuit. You can utilize the pool, you can utilize the ice, and of course the sauna as well, and be reinvigorated to head out and enjoy another incredible day. Now, as we head further around, I wanted to give you one more glimpse of this incredible infinity pool. This supplements the hot tubs up top as well so that you can have that water experience and of course sit out and enjoy. Now, as we head around to the port side, you're gonna find more of the same furniture over here. They've got the large day beds, the overstuffed loungers and the cabanas. Now, one of the great things about this particular haven, as I mentioned earlier, is you do have an outside bar as well. Now you can see behind me another fantastic bar here. Of course, they're gonna provide the service throughout the sun deck area, or you can sit here and be entertained and dazzled by their skills. Now we just headed up the staircase and we are now at the upper Haven sun deck level. What you're gonna see is a very similar setup down below. You've got more of these overstuffed loungers and day beds, but they also have these couches up here. They can kind of be rearranged just a little bit so you can sit and have a great social experience or of course, lay out and enjoy. Now what you're gonna find up here that's a little bit different is you have two hot tubs. So there's two that you can utilize as you'd like throughout. And in addition to that, they're also gonna have showers up here just like they have down below. Now putting all of this space together, what you're gonna find is an incredible Haven experience, whether you want the indoor lounge and bar experience, the amazing restaurant with the fine dining, or of course, all of this fantastic deck space. This to me is the perfect Haven. Now with each new ship, Norwegian has continued to evolve and expand the Mandara Spa. It's been such a popular feature that they've really doubled down on this space as well. The thermal suite, the spa in general, it's absolutely stunning and I can't wait to share it with you. So we've started right here at the check-in desk. You're definitely gonna to wanna to come by during your first day on board the cruise. You can schedule your treatments and they'll also provide a complimentary tour of the space. You definitely don't wanna miss that. They're very knowledgeable, they can answer the questions. And then also, of course, they're gonna have some retail options here that are also duty free. Now, the first spot that we're gonna to tour is heading into the salon area. So you've got a small waiting area when you come in. Of course, they're gonna check you in and you're gonna head right on and start enjoying your time. Our first stop is the barber shop. So this is where gentlemen can get haircuts, shaves, 
facials, all kinds of different options in here. It's beautiful aesthetic, as you would imagine. You've got the hair stations, as you can see. It's a really great option to get a shave. For me personally, getting a massage and a shave, it's such a treat that I almost never do at home, but here on board, you're on vacation, so why not? Now, of course, they also have a full service beauty salon. Now in the beauty salon itself, you can get a revolutionary makeover, you can get your hair done, or you can just get done up to head on out and enjoy this incredible ship. You see, they have four stations here. You're definitely gonna wanna book as soon as you arrive on board because those nights that you're at sea, they definitely fill up a bit quicker. So the hair stations are over here. Then you've got the manicure station. So there's three of them here. And then as we continue along, you also have the pedicure station. What I appreciate is you have these big, nice, comfy, oversized chairs, and you also have the basins that are even big enough for my size 15 feet. So if you wanna spoil yourself while you're on board, mani, pedi, massage, hair, you can do that here in the salon. Now, one of the most beautiful and dramatic parts of the spa is this two-story area of the thermal suite. You can actually see it from above, and then of course, we'll take you down there in just a minute, but it is absolutely stunning. Now there's a full Medi Spa here on board. So whatever Medi Spa treatments you're looking for, you can do that right here. And once again, you're gonna have some of the best doctors at sea. They do a phenomenal job with the consultations to make sure you get exactly what you're looking for. Now as you head down the beautiful marble staircase, your breath will be taken away. This is absolutely stunning with an entire wall of waterfall. I love that water feature here. And then of course you get the first glimpse of the beautiful Thessalo therapy pools. There's three different zones here in the thermal suite. Let's take you through all of them. Now the theme of art and beauty throughout the entire ship continues here in the spa. You see this beautiful sculpture here. And as we continue along, you're gonna see several other pieces of art. This particular one happens to be language of water and it makes so much sense as we head into your experiential spa journey. Now in the experiential spa journey, there's six different zones. Start off here with the aromatic steam room. Unfortunately, we can't take you inside there. It would steam up the camera, but it's the whole area here. They usually use eucalyptus, lavender, things like that that can really open yourself up. Now, as we continue along, on my right, you have the charcoal sauna. So the walls are lined with charcoal. It's really meant to be detoxifying. Across from it, you'll find the finished sauna. So this is more of that traditional hot sauna experience. So you can hop between them. And then as we continue along, you're also gonna have a salt room. Now they've had this before. You'll see like everything in this spot, it's considerably larger. So the idea with this is it really helps those maybe open up the skin, open up the senses. And it's also really, really fantastic as a treatment for different types of health problems. Now across from there, you'll find the infrared sauna. So this is gonna be a lower temperature sauna, but it has the infrared that's gonna go right onto the body. So you can usually stay in there a little bit longer as part of that detoxification. Now at the very, very end, you're gonna find the ice room. Now I love the ice room on the other ships. I'm gonna take you in here really quick here. And what you can see is it's a pretty good sized space. It's gonna have ice constantly coming out and you can rub that on yourself, starting with your legs and then moving up the body. And the combination of all these treatments together really will leave you invigorated and well, ready to go out and have another incredible day on board. Now you can see the first of the pools here to my left. What's great about that is it's expansive. It's so much larger than they've had on their other ships, even though this ship is a little bit smaller. So you can see the long pool here, what you probably can't see through the water is they've got the handles and they've got those really heavy duty jets in there. So you can work out all the kinks your back like I do, especially after a tra travel day when you're arriving on the ship. Now, as we continue along, you have another plunge pool right here to my left. And then we're gonna head in where you can start your spa journey. Now in the pool area, you're gonna find several hot stone loungers. I really love these, they're great for the back, they're ergonomic, and especially out exploring an incredible excursion, this is that spot where you can really relax. But unlike other cruise ships, there's a lot more than this. Let me take you around the corner and show you what I'm talking about. In contrast, as we head to the forward part of the thermal suite, you have lots and lots of natural light. So we're at the very front of the ship. You have the stone loungers that look out the front of the ship. It's a perfect place to be when you're in the scenic parts of the world, grabbing a book, sitting, relaxing, enjoying a day at sea, or even a port day before, after, or while everybody else is on an excursion. So they have these beautiful large day beds here. They've got doubles. They also have some singles. Back further, they have several different types of seating areas. In fact, they have some curtained off areas so you can get a little bit more privacy. Now, as we continue through, you'll see that you have a lot more of the same. You've got more of the double day beds here. A ton of hot stone loungers that go all the way across the front. There's hot stone loungers towards the back as well. You can imagine this is that perfect place to curl up, 
read a book, relax, and enjoy what vacation is all about. Now, as you prepare for your treatments, you're gonna start off in the relaxation room. This is where you can get yourself in the Zen mindset so you can have the best possible treatment. They'll also have you fill out a little bit of paperwork so you can let your therapist know your likes, dislikes, so that they can customize it perfectly for your preference. Now in here, it's a nice large area, recliner chairs. You also have a setup here with some infused water and teas. So you can also come back here after the treatment. It's really important to hydrate, especially after a massage. But this is the place where you can start and finish to get yourself ready for your massage. Now we're inside one of the treatment rooms, and as you can imagine, in a world-class spa, they have a wide variety of treatments. Whether you're looking for a massage, a facial, a seaweed wrap, they've got an option for you. Now, my personal favorite is the hot stone massage, but when I'm on a trip in Europe, maybe a little bit more extensive, I really go with the Swedish massage or the deep tissue because it really complements going out and exploring the world. This is one of the double treatment rooms, so in fact, my family, one of the most romantic, wonderful things you can do is enjoy a spa treatment. So my little ones will head up to the Splash Academy, have a great time themselves, and my wife and I can come down and enjoy some relaxation. So now we're headed into the Pulse Fitness Center. It's a world-class fitness center, as you would expect. They have a ton of cardio equipment. I love that it's all facing out to take advantage of those incredible ocean views. You've got treadmills, ellipticals, stair steppers, rowers. There's quite a few options in here. Now, I did want to point out that there's some great touches that I really appreciate. They've got the Vero Water, like their sister brand, Zoo. You can utilize this while you're, while you're using the space. And then they also, on the other side, they have a fridge with small towels so that you can cool off throughout your exercise. Those little touches, to me, go a really long way. Now, of course, you have all the other equipment you expect, the circuit equipment, dumbbells, barbells, free weights. You've got the Smith machine. So you can do a full workout. Now, in addition to that, they're also gonna have the ride spinning studio. So if you wanna do a spinning class, you can do that. They also have the wellness studio on the other side. They're gonna have classes such as TRX, yoga, stretch. Now, keep in mind, most of them do come at an additional cost, and you're gonna to wanna to sign up right away when you get on board because they can fill up. But it's a great way to supplement your wellness experience here on board. So now we're headed into the Splash Academy, which is the kids club here on board. Now, personally, I started cruising really, really young. In fact, my very first Norwegian ship was the Southward well over 30 years ago with my family. And now I cruise with my family on board. And the idea is the kids have a place to go, have a lot of fun and some great programming. So every member of the family has the perfect vacation. Now, it's really important to stop by here on the very first day. You can see they have lots of safety measures in place. You're gonna check the kiddos in. They're gonna go over the different procedures. Now the older ones can check themselves in and out with your permission. The younger ones, of course, need to be checked in and out by a parent, or of course you can designate somebody. When we travel with friends and family, we'll designate a couple people. Maybe my wife and I are having dinner in Cagney's. My dad can come up, pick up the little one, and go and have a great time on board. So this is where you're gonna check in. So they're gonna make sure that they check the authorization and then the kids are gonna come in and start having a great time. Now they have really changed it up here over the last couple years. And now instead of having everything divided up by the age groups, they have three to 12 year olds that can utilize the whole space. They have specific programming based on the needs of each age group, but they've decided where it's a little bit of zone. So right here is the creative zone. They're gonna have all kinds of arts and crafts. I know this is where my daughter's probably gonna spend most of her time. They'll do painting, coloring, beads, necklaces, all kinds of fun stuff. In fact, every single day she brings something back to the room. They do have a large TV in here, and you'll notice that they have all the cleanup zones are the kiddos' size. Now, as we head through, it kind of transitions into more of an active and sports zone. Now, today is boarding day, so they've got it set up a little bit differently, but once again in here, they can move it around. They have the TV in the far side where they can do movie time. They've got all the furniture that's the age appropriate size. And then as we head further back, you're gonna see the space really opens up. So they can turn this into a little bit of a gym of sorts. They can do bowling, play different ball games. And what I love about that is each and every kid is different, of course. Some are gonna be drawn more to the right brain. Some are gonna be more drawn to the left brain but they're probably all gonna be drawn over here at one point to the technology station. So you've got video games over on the side. Of course, they can do that here as well. They're gonna have different kinds of gaming in here, different styles of programming, because the concept behind it all is to have some fun, to learn, and then basically keep them engaged so that they wanna come back each and every single day. Now, one thing that's different about the Prima than the previous ships is it does not have a separate entourage teen club. Now what they're utilizing here on board is this space, so they'll have access to it pretty often. It actually does shut off, so you can have a completely separate space. In fact, all the spaces in the kids club here does segment off. 
But the other thing that they're planning to do is different kinds of programming around the ship. So the idea is utilize the technology and the video game station, and then of course they'll meet up and have different activities all throughout the cruise. Now just behind me, you can get a really good idea of deck six, seven, and eight of the beautiful Penrose Atrium. To me, it's one of the most beautiful spots on this ship and any ship in the entire world. It's elegant design, and as you're in here, you wouldn't know whether you're on the top ultra luxury ship in the entire world, or a ship that's more in the contemporary market like the Prima. Now, each and every single deck has its own dedicated space, and each has its own purpose, but what I love about it is when you walk in, you've got the beautiful Venetian glass on the ceiling, that sculpture that was absolutely stunning when we first saw this ship in the shipyard, and now, as it's come to life, it really changes throughout the day and evolves with the space itself. Now, we're starting here at Deck 8, and I wanted to show you one of my favorite spots. It is the Proof Whiskey Bar. What I really love about it is, of course, it's a bar, but there's a ton of lounge style seating. So you see these really comfy tables for two and four. They've got different chair setups as you go. You also have some booth style seating. And one of the things that you'll find throughout the entire ship, once again, is all of the intimate spaces. So they've got booths on the far side. This kind of sticks out into the middle of the atrium itself, so you can get some incredible views down below. Now, speaking of views, they've really taken great care to include light in the area. So Starbucks is one step below us. We're gonna take you down there in just a minute, but I wanted to point out all of this incredible glass. So you've got two stories of glass, glass on the ceiling as well. So it really lets the light in here and during the day, it makes it a bright and airy space. And then later on in the evening, you can get views out when you're sailing out of a beautiful port, sailing into a beautiful port, or you're at sea. Now the bar is behind me right here. This is where you're gonna find all of your favorite whiskeys. They have a wide expanse and variety of them. In addition to that, you're gonna find all of your favorite cocktails, beers, wines, and champagnes. Now being that it is a whiskey bar, one of the things that you can do is a whiskey tasting. I'm all about education. It's one of those things that you do a lot on cruise ships. You can learn about new things. And if you're gonna learn about something, right now, we were just in Ireland, so why not learn about a little Irish whiskey and then, you know, heading up to Scotland, some scotch, wherever in the world you are, the bartenders are gonna coach you through it. And then down here, you can just see a variety of one of the flights of tasting that they'll be doing a little bit later today. So once again, the bar wraps all the way around. You've got these beautiful casks right here. You've got the bar style seating here. You've got the lounge style seating on the far side. And because it's right next to Onda by Scarpetta, it's that perfect transition where you can come have a drink before dinner, after dinner, or join friends any time of the day. Now, if you love delicious Italian food, you are absolutely going to enjoy Onda by Scarpetta. It comes from the same name as the land-based restaurant. It's a partnership that Norwegian has, and it is absolutely delicious. You'll have all of your favorite Italian delights. My personal favorite is starting off with that delicious burrata cheese and the fresh tomatoes, working your way through those handmade pastas. They're made here each and every single day on board. Of course, the pizzas are to die for. They have a pizza oven in the back. And then you'll top it off with some absolute delicious entrees. Now, the space itself here is very ultra modern. You'll recognize the decor. It looks very similar to what you'll see on the Encore and the Norwegian Spirit. You've got those classic white lines in here and the ultra modern furniture. Now you've got tables for two and four. You've got tables by the window and also down the middle here. But I really like the decor of these booths. It's just something about it feels like going to a New York Italian restaurant, digging in and having an incredible meal. Now this is a specialty restaurant. It's definitely one of the most popular, so you're gonna to wanna to pre-book this restaurant. Now keep in mind, in addition to all of this fantastic indoor space, they also have outdoor space as well. There's glass set up that shields it, and then you do have the heaters out there, so it does not depend at all upon the weather. You can head on out and have an absolutely delicious meal. Now personally, that's my favorite to dine outside, but you can't go wrong in this beautiful space either. Now, to me, the only way to make a delicious Italian meal even better is to pair it with world-class wines. They have incredible sommeliers here on board. They have a massive wine collection, so any vinophile is gonna be happy, or anybody who just loves a casual glass of Chianti or something delicious like a Prosecco. Now, you have a wide variety to choose from here. This is just a small list. They have the full wine menu, as you're gonna find in each and every single restaurant. Now on the starboard side of the ship, you're gonna find quite a few different retail options. We'll start off here with lifestyles where they've got some jewelry options. You're also gonna have clothing options. And of course, all of this is meant to take advantage of the duty-free pricing. 
So much of what we pay normally is tax or duty, so being able to take advantage of that is really great value. Now, I did want to point this out. This is a dedicated to the christening ceremony here. Of course, Katy Perry is the godmother of this ship. And I really like this plaque because it goes through and tells you all of the Norwegian ships all the way back to the very first ones. I see the southward on there. That was actually my very, very first cruise ship. Guest occupancy, 752. But it's a little bit of Norwegian history here and a giant bottle of champagne. Now, as we continue to head further aft, you can see that they've set it up like a shopping arcade of sorts. You've got sunglasses on the far wall there. You've got different styles of jewelry. There's a few watches. And it's also a bit of preview here of things that they have throughout the ship. So you can find the one that you want and you can head back and purchase it. Now, as we continue back, you're gonna find more watches here. They've got a partnership with Garmin. So there's a wide variety on this side. You're also gonna have the different fitness style watches. They have razors, they have all kinds of tech as well. In fact, the next step back is tech at sea. I just wanted to point out they'll do pop-up shops here. And in Tech at Sea, you can actually buy phones. They have a wide variety of headphones. Once again, all meant to take advantage of the duty-free pricing. Now we're in the photo studio. Now, so much about vacation is creating memories. And what I love about what they do here on board is they'll have photographers on board that can take your picture. You can arrange for a private sitting where you can capture all of those incredible moments around the ship. They also will take them in the studio itself. So if you wanna find that perfect Christmas card photo, or you just wanna get the family together, get all dressed up, that's the perfect thing for that. Now, in addition to it, you're also gonna have the photos that they take around the ship. You have the choice each and every single time, whether you're getting on or off the ship, maybe in one of the destinations or around one of the iconic parts of the ship. All you do is you're gonna take out your key card, you'll tap it right here, and this is gonna pull up all the photos that they've taken. Now you can choose to purchase one, you can purchase all of them. Of course, they can have prints and they can even have them shipped to you as well. Now I did wanna point out this really cool interactive wall. So much of this ship is high tech. Once again, all you do is tap your key card right here. There's actually a camera and there's a wide variety of games and different interactive experiences. You can hang out with some aliens. You can learn the prima dance. You can try to keep the soccer ball, basketball, tennis balls in the air. But it, once again, just a small space on the ship that is such an, a large amount of fun. Now on the far side here, it's the continuation of the photo studio area. You're gonna have cameras that you can purchase, binoculars, maybe you need an SD card, or you wanna upgrade your GoPro or camera itself. You can take advantage of those duty-free prices because of course, those are a little bit ticket, bigger ticket items, so you can get a great value for your money. Now, if you love Mexican food like I do, you definitely wanna schedule some time here at Los Lobos. Now, Los Lobos is classic Mexican fare. You can start off with some tableside preparation of guacamole, they do it mocajete style, and then you can work all the way through the entrees, the soups, the salads. My personal favorite is the cochinita pabil. I do love some mole, and the mole enchiladas are delicious as well. Now, my family loves tacos. The skirt stay tacos are delicious. Whatever your choice is and your favorite Mexican dish, you're sure to find it here. Now, the space itself is absolutely beautiful. You've got those bright color pops here on the wall with the gorgeous mural. They have the brick in the restaurant itself. And then from a seating standpoint, you have tables for two, tables for four. Of course, they can put them together for larger groups. And then on the far side, they also have those bright, beautiful pink seats. Now outside, you're gonna have a dining experience as well. So personally, I love to dine al fresco. I really appreciate that they have that here. You've got tables for two and four outside. You can watch the world go by as you dine. Now, another great feature is they have heaters out there. So the weather is pretty much irrelevant. You can dine outside or inside, but you definitely wanna make a reservation when you get on board. Now, if you're a fan of Norwegian, you'll definitely recognize this spot. It is the local bar and grill. So we've started off in the restaurant area. This is a 24 hour restaurant, something that I absolutely love and wish every single cruise ship in the world had. You could start off with breakfast. They have a great selection of a la carte items customized to your preference. And then it'll turn into a lunch dinner menu of sorts. It's quite an expansive menu. They've got soups, salads, sandwiches, burgers. The Reuben is exceptionally delicious, though my favorite is the chicken salad sandwich. I've had quite a few of them here on board. And of course, you can't leave out the pretzel bites or the wings either for lunch or two in the morning. Now, what you'll see in here is you've got quite a dynamic seating option. So they can put them together for larger tables. You've got tables for two and four. And in this side, they also have the large screens. 
Now, another great option and part of the local is they also have outdoor seating. So there's an extension out on Ocean Boulevard. So if you want a little alfresco dining on a beautiful day like today, you can see it's pretty empty in here because everybody's dining outside. So whether you wanna dine inside or outside, this is the restaurant spot. Now I just stepped through the pass-through area here, and on the other side of the ship, you're gonna find the local bar. This has been a very popular spot here on board. You've got the full bar here, of course, incredible bartenders. They've got all of your favorite cocktails, beers, and wines. And one of the really cool things about this space is that it's really a dynamic entertainment, dining, and drinking space. So you can order from the local menu here. Along the far wall, they have several different seating options, really creative and unique furniture. I love those bird's nest loungers. And then as we head further back, they have a massive screen that's perfect for watching the game. It's also a perfect spot if you're utilizing it for entertainment. So they have karaoke here. They had a band here the other night. And what you'll see is you've got bar style seating here. You've got a continuation of all the different lounge style seating. And as we continue to head back, there's all these little nooks where you can gather with friends, grab a quick bite to eat, whether it's for lunch, late into the evening. Of course, they're gonna provide cocktail service as well. And it's kind of that ultimate zone that comes together. So whenever you wanna eat 24 hours a day, or if you wanna stop by for a drink and have some fun with friends, the local's perfect. Now heading aft from the local bar, I wanna introduce you to a concept I've been so excited about since I learned about it, the Indulge Food Hall. This is taking that fast, casual dining to another level, and it's really quite exceptional. I wanted to start right here because the one I'm most excited about is Tamar. Now this is an Indian restaurant. There's 11 separate eateries in this space itself. And this is the first. And one thing that's really cool, they added this window in. You can actually see the two large tandoor ovens. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna have Indian food for lunch and dinner. And the entire concept here is it's a completely different menu. So you can have lunch at all of these places, come back and try a ton of brand new items. Now the concept behind the Indulge Food Hall is that each and every single one of the restaurants offers just a few items so that they can perfect them. It's usually about five to six items for each meal. And if you do sit at the countertops here, you can order just from that restaurant. Now you can see it's got the open kitchen concepts. So you're gonna get those wonderful smells coming in. And then as we continue further in, you're gonna see a wide variety of seating spaces. So you've got these bar tops here and everywhere that you see one of the iPads, you're able to order from all of the other restaurants throughout the entire space. So let me show you what it's all about. Right now it's lunch, so I can order from the garden. They're gonna have those soups and salads. We'll take you over there in just a second. I can also switch up and order some barbecue as well. So I can have what I want, my spouse can have what she wants, my kids can have what they want. It's all about having that perfect vacation experience. Now there are a few items that do come at an additional cost, though most of the entire space is complimentary. Coco's is a fan favorite on the other Norwegian ships, and this is all about indulgence. In fact, this might be where the food hall's name comes from. You'll have a variety of gelatos and ice creams. You've got macaroons and chocolate treats. Now these are my favorite here. Of course, you can get an ice cream sundae in one of the cups over here. Now, as we continue along, you can see they have the milkshakes, and what you're gonna find is seating areas all the way around. There's over 200 seats inside, over 100 seats outside as well. So you pick the perfect spot for you, sit down, order, enjoy your time, and the items are gonna come out really quick. Now, a big theme with the entire food hall is international cuisine. Everybody likes something different. So here, even at Noodles Bar, you can get Singapore street noodles, pad thai, or even one of my favorites, German spetzel. Now, as we head further back, you can see there were seats at the bar there. Once again, if you're seated there, that's all that you're gonna order. And then the most important part of the food hall, quite frankly, the most important part of any cruise ship, you've got the ice cream station. So there's several flavors that are complimentary. You can stop by here anytime throughout your cruise, dig in and enjoy. Now, as we head all the way to the aft, you're gonna see that you have more seating areas here. Each one of them is themed differently based on the restaurant that it's close to. Of course, you're gonna have to have a bar. So inside, you have the Luna Bar. It's got a sister bar on the outside. We'll take you there in just a minute. But you can see here, they have all your favorite beers on tap. They have hard alcohol and wines as well. And they're gonna provide service from here throughout the entire food hall area. Next up is the Latin Quarter. You can see here, they have several different types of Latin items. Now it's more than just Spain. You're also gonna have a little bit of Mexico too here and there, but you can see the Iberico ham right there. I had the tuna tostada earlier. It was absolutely delicious. And this particular one's set up in an Airstream trailer. 
Now just across, you can see the continuity of that food truck style service. So you have tapas, so you can have all kinds of different small fare. Now I know I mentioned it earlier that they're gonna have different menus for lunch and dinner. You can also have breakfast in here, though it's a little more of a grab and go because all of these items are cooked to order and they're gonna deliver them right to your seat. So if you hop in here, sit down, order, once again, they're gonna bring it directly to you. Now, as we head further forward now, you can see we're weaving our way through the space. You have Q Texas Smokehouse. Now, Q is not a new concept to Norwegian, but this is a new cake on it. So you've got all kinds of different barbecue options in here. They've got the smoker back there. Had some for lunch today. It was absolutely delicious. So what you'll see is instead of all of the larger specialty restaurants, now they have those as well as you've seen some already, they're gonna have this mix and match to complement it. Next up is Seaside Rotisserie. I had some incredible chicken there just a few minutes ago. You can see back in the back, they have the open kitchen concept for all of these restaurants. You can smell all of the delectable smells as you walk in. So if you like those chicken, pork, of course, they also have some beef options as well. Now, as we head around the corner, we're gonna see yet again another fan favorite. And of course, Norwegian has doubled down with their partnership with Starbucks. So in the food hall, you have a Starbucks. It perfectly complements that breakfast grab and go options. But in addition to that, you can stop by here anytime. And what I've found is throughout the day, sometimes this is a little less busy than the other Starbucks. And I love the idea that you can grab one, head on out and enjoy the outdoor part of the Indulge Lounge. It's your perfect coffee shop combination where you can enjoy the scenery that's ever changing. Now, if you're looking for a little bit of lighter fare, you've got the garden. So all the salads here are made to order. You can picture soups and salads. Once again, they've got six items on the menu here for lunch. You're gonna have six more for dinner. So you have a combination of 12 different options just at one kiosk. Now, I mentioned the ice cream being the most important. I might have jumped the gun just a little bit because next up is just desserts. So this is all grab and go items. It looks like they've got some pumpkin pie in there today. All kinds of delicious treats where you can grab, enjoy, and of course, maybe put some ice cream on it as well. Now, as we step out to the aft of the ship, you can see all the beautiful furniture here. Of course, they have the tables as well. It's the extension of the food hall, and it's also the extension of the Indulge Lounge area. So this is a ton of space here at the aft of the ship. Those of you who watched our videos know how much I love being in the aft of the ship. And I love that this is a space for everyone. You see, you've got those extra comfy loungers back there. You've got several sets of day beds, little cabana style areas, lots of intimate spaces where you can sit down, relax, have a bite to eat, or of course, have a bite to drink. Now you can see you have more of the tables and chairs here, more chaise loungers. And then as we head all the way to the aft of the ship, we're gonna find the sister of the Luna Bar and outdoors here, you have the Soleil Bar. So a little bit of sun, a little bit of moon. Of course, this is a perfect place for a sunrise or a sunset. You can picture yourself sitting here with the incredible bartenders, the absolute best in the business. They're gonna keep you smiling, laughing, and of course, keeping those drinks flowing. So I have to say, they may have the best view in the entire business here, looking directly out the aft of the ship. Now, as we head further around, you've got a continuation of what we saw on the other side. You've got more of the furniture, lots and lots of different setups and options. Over here, you have some large couch areas. We're sitting out here with some friends the other night. I did wanna point out that they do have heaters up above and they work really, really well. So when we were sailing out of Iceland, it was a perfect spot to be a day like today where it's nice and warm. It's also a perfect place to be as well. Now behind me here, you see more of those cabana setups. You can sit, have a nice little meeting if you need to. In fact, I had a business meeting here the other day, or you can just sit and enjoy all of the incredible views. Now I mentioned inside that there's outdoor dining as well. Part of the Indulge Food Hall, you can see here they have the booth style set up. I love that that's all set to face the incredible ocean views. As you continue along, you also have tables for four here. They can put them together for larger groups. So it's really your choice, just like throughout the entire ship. I love that they have the indoor and outdoor dining here in the Indulge Food Hall, the specialty restaurants, of course, the Haven restaurant as well. This ship is meant to capture the incredible ocean views, the feeling of being at sea, and unlike some mega ships, it's really all about the ocean here. From here, you really get that idea of how they've expanded all of the outdoor areas. In fact, Ocean Boulevard, this area here, it's a lot larger than you're gonna find on other ships to really capture all of that deck space. I love these bird's nest loungers. In fact, my wife and I love to sit in these. You can rock just a little bit, a little bit of the sway of the ocean as you cruise through all of the incredible spots that this ship will be sailing to. You have a little bit more seating on the side here. This would go right into the Indulge Food Hall. 
So you have some bar top style seating here. And I wanted to point out hydrate. So they have these on either side. This is a self service bar. So you use your key card. It's gonna work with your package. If you have one of the, the beverage packages as most people do, all you have to do is scan. You can get a selection of beers and wines right on tap. Now, something that we were really excited about when we saw the plans is Infinity Beach. You have one on either side of the ship here, and you can think of it as its own pool deck. So out here, you're gonna find the same as you have up above. You've got all the comfy loungers. They have some of them pushed a little bit back, so you've got some shade. You've got more that are here in the sun. Once again, looking out and taking advantage of those incredible ocean views. Now, there's also some lounge space just behind, so you can utilize this in the evening as well. Now, a brand new feature that I think is super cool here are these day beds. They're wrapped around by a water feature. So you can see you've got water here. You can step in there, dip your toes in the water to cool off. And then of course, utilize these day beds facing directly out at the incredible ocean views. Now, the name of this space comes from the two infinity pools. Once again, one on either side of the ship. It's a really nice sized pool here. You've got a shallow ledge. You can sit on the edge and put your toes in the water. But what this is really all about is looking out at the amazing ocean views and the infinite edge. The water goes right up to the side of the ship there. You can stand in there when you're in one of the scenic parts of the world, or of course, you can utilize it anytime. Now, as we continue to head forward, there's three more of these day beds. Once again, this really cool water feature. And I wanted to point out that even if you're not utilizing the day beds, there's a little bit of that waterfall effect. You can sit here and use all the loungers. And of course, you get that sound of the ocean. In the back of the ship there, you've got the wake kicking up. On the side here, you have these water features. All of this is meant to really connect you to the sea. Now, just on the other side of the windbreak here, there's more of those loungers, so it's an extension of Infinity Beach. And I wanted to point out, this is a great place to see the Rush slides. So these are the racing slides. We showed you where the entrance is up top here. They drop from 18 all the way down to deck eight. So you've got the two exits to the slides here. And something that's really cool is you can go right around the corner. That's where the elevator bank is. You can head right back up and do it over and over again. Now the Norwegian Prima is a piece of art herself and has one of the most incredible art collections at sea. They spent over $7 million procuring the art. And then of course they also commissioned special art just for the ship. Let me take you through the concourse. It's an art walk of sorts. All of these beautiful sculptures are designed by the one and only Alexander Krivoshe. So we'll start off here with the weather rock. And what you'll find is that all of them are meant to connect you with the sea and also to connect you with the childhood. Now we got to speak with him when we were in Venice just a few months ago. He was so passionate about what he was doing here on board and it really shows. You've got another beautiful piece right here. It's Poseidon's pet. And then as we continue further along, you can see they've integrated live plants. Of course, the furniture itself is part of the art as well. And then on the floor here, I don't know that you can see it, but they have these beautiful dots where they actually are solar activated. And as the sun goes down, they light up. So we'll continue along. You have this red and white piece of art. It's Sumo. And then on the other side, the opposite, you're gonna find the Son of Ra. So lots and lots of tie-ins to the international cultures. And each and every one of them is unique and beautiful. Now, one of the most stunning pieces here is the Sacred Trinity. One of the things that you can't see right now because it's daytime is this also has LED lights integrated with it. So it's going to evolve from day to night, just like a cruise ship does as the daytime leads to some incredible entertainment and fun. Now, my personal favorite is Scoops right here. Looks like a little bit of a puppy dog. Of course, it's a modern take on it, but it takes me right back to my childhood. And of course, I know my kiddos are gonna love their time here on board. Now, those of you looking for a little bit of adventure, I'm gonna take you along the ocean walk as we head forward to La Terraza. Now, this is a really cool feature. In fact, right down below me is the ocean. So it's a glass walkway. And as we head along here, it's kind of a little bit of a, you know, stomach in the throat thing if you don't like heights, but it's really cool to challenge yourself and to do something new. But as you cruise throughout the world, you can look down and watch the ocean go by in a really unique and interesting way. Now this is gonna be found on both sides of the ship. And right when you get across it, you'll get to La Terraza, which is a really unique lounge space. Now you can see here that you've got more of the beautiful decor, all the contours of the wood. And then right here, you're gonna have several seating areas that go all the way to the front of the ship. 
So you've got these large tables here. They will serve cocktails out here. You're gonna have quite a few of these as we head forward. And another really cool feature is that you have these binoculars. So they're really high powered. They have several of them on either side of the ship. And they also have lighting out here. So of course you can come and utilize it day and night. They're gonna have some speakers with some calm music, but you can come over and check out. Ooh, there's a cool castle. Now I always appreciate it on any cruise ship where the promenade deck goes all the way around. It's a great place to take a stroll. And of course here, you've got the food hall, you've got the art, you've got Infinity Beach. And I love that it continues to the front of the ship here. Now you've got some more of that beautiful hull art just behind me. Of course, PETA designed the hull art, did an incredible job. And of course you can see this ship from a long distance off. Part of that as well is the unique hull design. It's designed to cut through the waves. And I have to say, we've had an incredibly stable and wonderful journey here on board the Prima. Now I wanted to point out the front of the ship itself. So this is a bit of a different design. Once again, it's all about the architecture and engineering of the design itself. So you don't have that classic front helicopter pad like you would on some other cruise ships. But I have to say from a design standpoint and from a stability standpoint, they've done an incredible job. So now we're inside the incredible high-tech Prima Theater. It is truly a dynamic entertainment zone. You can see behind me that they have the chairs set up. Now this will pull all the way out. So when they're doing one of the main production shows, like Summer, the Donna Summer musical, which I got to see last night, they're gonna have that all the way up to the front. But what's really unique about this entire space is they can transform it in a matter of minutes. Now the musical itself was out of this world. I've actually seen the production elsewhere. This was the best version I've ever seen. The voices were incredible, the sets, and all of the technology, the way that they integrate it together. But what was really cool is if you're up on deck seven on the sides here, that's my favorite place to sit in this particular theater. After that show, they're actually gonna bring you onto the stage. They turn it into a disco and they convert the entire space into the Studio 54 nightclub experience. They're gonna push this all the way back here. All of this becomes a dance floor. They have these really cool lounge style seating areas for VIP seating that'll come out from the walls there. So there'll be four of them, two on this side, two on that side. They bring out the bars. And of course there's bars all the way in the back of the theater itself. Now you're also gonna have Noise Boys. It's a unique show created for Norwegian by the same creators of Choir of Man. Haven't gotten to see it yet, but I know it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Now they'll do special productions in here. In fact, we have an incredible concert tonight with Cool and the Gang. I cannot wait to see them. This is the inaugural sailing, so they're gonna do some special events, but you never know what special events they'll offer while they're, you're on your cruise. They're gonna bring people on for lectures. They'll do entertainment in here. They'll do education in here. And also they do some really cool game shows. Believe it or not, they can convert this theater to have the prices right. We did get to see that already and it was a ton of fun. Just like the regular show, you can win real tangible prizes. They'll also convert this space to supermarket sweep. That's one of my wife and I's all time favorites. I can't wait to play it when we're on board. In addition to that, they have press your luck. You gotta avoid those whammies and they also have beat the clock. So they've licensed these shows so you have the full version. It's not a knockoff version, it's an incredible full version of the shows where you have audience participation. So you add that into the interaction they have up on the mini golf course. There's places where you can not only enjoy the entertainment, but you can win some prizes and who doesn't love that? Now what you'll see from here is you also have a balcony up on deck eight just above me. I'm on deck six right now. So you've got entrances and exits on the side of deck six. You've got stairs that will go up to deck seven. And you can see it from here. Even the hallways have these transformational LED lights. The walls light up as well. And above me is this incredible chandelier feature where it's got all the different lightings, all the high tech. And then you can also see the amazing disco balls. We had an incredible time with Studio 54. And as I mentioned, the Donna Summer musical was out of this world. You're gonna love it. And everything I just mentioned from the entertainment standpoint, you're gonna have complimentary options here. So it's all built into your ticket price. Now I've spoken about the art throughout the ship. I just wanted to point something out. Now with each and every art piece, some of them quite a few years old, some of them brand new and commissioned for the ship, they're gonna have a little QR code, information on the artists themselves, and an explanation of what it is. Now what was really cool is Taylor and I were in PETA's studio in Venice just a few months ago. We saw these very pieces hanging there in the artist studio. They look incredible here, and it's just all part of that dedication to art around the ship. Now we're inside the deck seven portion of the atrium. 
You've got more high-end retail. You can see the partnerships with Effie and Breitling and TagCure. And then as we continue along, you'll find the guest services desk. So this is where you're gonna stop by to ask any questions about money, about your room. They're gonna have a lot of answers for you. And then they also have the onboard credit desk. One of the cool things with Norwegian is that you almost always have an extra perk, an extra package. And then of course, booking with hard travel as well. You're sure to get the best value for your money. Now I do recommend that you stop by during the cruise, usually the first day and the last day it does get a little busier as people ask questions about their bill or maybe the inclusions when they get on board. Now as we continue along, you can see the space really opens up and it is absolutely stunning. From here you can see the art piece on the wall, you've got the beautiful chandelier up above, but once again it changes throughout the day. And you can really see the space, that's what this ship is all about. It has a space ratio to passengers unlike anything else ever built in the contemporary market. It matches up more along with the luxury lines. Now many people start their day at home with Starbucks, and Starbucks is a main feature here on board. Norwegian has a partnership. They do have the one, of course, kiosk on deck eight in the Indulge Food Hall, but this is front and center. This is kind of the gathering place here on board. It's where the community gets together. You've got the full Starbucks, just like you would at home. You've got lots of seating areas, the little booths tucked away in the corner. Of course, all the seating area, looking out those incredible floor to ceiling windows that go all the way up two stories. And then as you wrap around here, you've got more seating where you can look over the atrium itself. So if you wanna start your day with a cup of coffee, there's no better place on board than right here. In a fitting location right next to Starbucks, you have the Connect Internet Cafe. Now virtually every passenger on board is gonna have some kind of internet package included. Of course, your hard travel advisor will go through those details. But when you're on board, if you wanna connect more devices, upgrade your package, or you just have any questions about connectivity, stop by anytime and they'll be happy to help. Now just forward of Starbucks, you're gonna find the shore excursions desk. Of course, the shore excursions are such a big part of any cruise experience. And with this ship visiting all kinds of exotic locations around the world, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you pre-book the excursions. Almost everyone has a perk included in their package. And of course your hard travel advisor will go through the details on how to maximize that. And we always recommend that you pre-book the excursions because they can sell out. You'll be able to do that at home from your cruise planner, either in the app or on the computer through your login with ncl.com. Now this is the Shorex desk. So of course, if you wanna change one of your shore excursions, you have any questions on board, they've done many of them and they have a ton of insight to share with you. Now we always recommend that you pre-book your reservations, but I wanted to point out these kiosks. They're incredibly helpful here on board. This is where you can learn more about the ship. Of course, you can also schedule dining as well, and then also entertainment. So you'll take your card and you'll just put it right here. You can go right on in, and it's gonna tell you what's open, what's closed, what has availability. You can click right on the specialty dining, pick the one that you want. It's gonna tell you where it is, and then you're also gonna be able to access the menu. You just tap the card right here. It's gonna go through all the availability. So as soon as you get on board, if you maybe didn't get all the restaurant reservations you wanted or you wanna change it up, the kiosks to me are the very first place to start. You can learn about the restaurants themselves and you can go ahead and schedule it right here. Now, as we head aft, you'll find the gateway. This is more of that retail experience. Instead of having a few really large shops, you'll find throughout the ship, they have these shopping arcades, just like up on deck eight. And this one is a little bit more about the high-end retail. You've got Effie back there. You have a wide variety of watches to choose from here. And then as we continue to head back, you're gonna find an assortment of handbags and high-end retail items here for you to choose from. Once again, with these items, so much of it is the tax when you're shopping at home. That's why so many people purchase on board is that you're gonna save some ways up to 10 or 20% off without the duty. Continuing aft, you're gonna find the art gallery. Now, Norwegian has had a partnership with Park West for quite some time. We have a lot of our guests that like to come on board, participate in the art auctions, or just purchase the art. And one of the things that I love about it is to me, it's an immersive experience whether you're purchasing or not. You've got some of our favorites from Brito over on the far side there. You've got some Godard and Kincaid. You've got all of those classics that you'll find on a lot of cruise ships. But to me, the way it's presented here is absolutely exceptional. Whether you're heading back for entertainment or a meal, you can stop by, learn a little bit about the art. And there's a little bit of Peter Max as well. He's had a great partnership with Norwegian for quite some time. In fact, some of his art is on the whole of their ships. Now, if you love to rock out, you're gonna absolutely love Sid Norman's Poor House. This is a rock studio, it's a concert venue. It's also a great bar and lounge. 
Now you'll see in here, it's similar to the other Sid Normans on other Norwegian ships. It's a small venue, which makes it perfect for a great concert. They've got the full bar on the far side. You also have all of this great furniture. You've got the couches here, different bar style seatings, pub tables, and also some booths tucked around the corner. There's a ton of rock memorabilia in here. They've got the sound booth on the far side. Of course, the stage is front and center as well. This is a great place to spend the evening and rock the night away. Now, I also wanted to point out, this is one of those spaces on board if you're hosting a meeting. Now, Hard Travel does meetings and incentives as well. And if you're putting together a lecture, they also utilize this for that space as well, doing some of the entertainment and of course, learning. Now we're inside the Improv, and as the name suggests, they're gonna have world-class comedy in here throughout your cruise. They bring on some amazing comedians, and this space also transforms into the nightclub. You've got a full bar on the far side here. You, of course, you're gonna have the full bar set up, beers, wines, sodas, and of course, spirits. And then just behind me, you can see that they have it set up now for one of the comedy shows. Now they'll also do lectures in here during the day. You can also set up a meeting if you'd like. The whole far side is booth style seating. You've got the sound booth tucked in the side, more of that beautiful decor. And then of course the stage right at the front. This is the main nightclub in here on the ship, but also this combines with the incredible Studio 54 experience after the Donna Summer Show. So wherever you wanna rock the night away, there's sure to be a perfect venue for you. Another classic fan favorite specialty restaurant is Le Bistro. This is classic French fare. You can start off with all of your favorites, the escargots, my personal favorite, work your way through the soups, the entrees. Of course, that coca vin is always delicious here. Whatever French dish you like, they're sure to prepare it exactly the way you prefer. Now, the decor in here is absolutely beautiful. They have these chandeliers down the middle, beautiful glass chandeliers. Of course, you've got a lighter decor than we've seen at some of the other Le Bistros throughout the fleet. You've got tables for two, four, six, and then they also have these really nice booths by the window. You're definitely gonna wanna request one of those, especially if you're dining a little bit earlier in the evening. Now, as you would expect with a French restaurant, they have a phenomenal wine menu, and they also have a partnership with Louvre Coco, another place here on board where you can enjoy that delicious champagne. Now we're inside the Humidor Cigar Lounge. This is a place where you can go either purchase a stogie, light one up, or if you bring one yourself, you can utilize it here. Now it's only for cigar smoking. As I mentioned, you can purchase it. They also have a wide variety of spirits, cognacs, whiskey, whatever you'd like to pair with your cigar. Now it's kind of attached to the Metropolitan Bar, so you have the full bar menu to choose from. They've got a TV in here where you can watch the game, but I love the decor in this space. It's very much like a private den at an estate, as you look throughout, you've got that high back furniture over here, those extra comfy large leather loungers and sofas. So if you wanna have a cigar, this is that perfect spot. Now, one of the most beautiful, elegant bars here on board is the Metropolitan Bar. It's set just in front of Nama Sushi and then just past all of the Improv and Sid Normans, and it's perfectly positioned for a drink anytime in the afternoon or evening. You'll see the furniture here. You've got this beautiful wicker style on the top. You've got the booth style seating, lots of different styles of seating, but also little areas where people can gather together with a large group or a small group. Now, what the bar is about, of course, is the bar itself. And there's no better bartender in the entire world than the Chocolate Cowboy. He's right here mixing us up. La Madrina, which is the featured drink here on board. Now I wanted to show you something pretty cool. They have iPads here at the bar where you can go through and you can select exactly what you want. In fact, created a drink here just the other day, the Prima Donna for Miss Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom. They were here having a drink with us. So what do we got here today, sir? Making you the Prima Donna. Ah, the Prima Donna. See, he knows me pretty darn well. But what I love about the entire concept here of Norwegian is it's all about family, friends, fun getting together. And this is that spot where you can escape in the evening. I know my wife and I love to come have a drink with the chocolate cowboy, catch up. It's been a little bit of time since we've seen him. In fact, if you check out our encore video, he's featured in there as well. Now I got to taste it up. What do you think? Oh, I think it tastes a little bit like a teenage dream. Delicious. Mm. Now I mentioned family and there's nothing I love more about coming on board a cruise ship than reconnecting with old memories or reconnecting with friends. There is absolutely nobody more awesome than the chocolate cowboy, but there's also no one more lovely than this lady and she makes a mean drink. It's absolutely delicious. In fact, this is the signature drink of the space. 
One of the things that you'll find here on board the Prima is that they have an evolution in cocktails. They have sustainable cocktails, they have creations from the bartenders here on board, and then of course you can order anything that you like. Now I'm really excited about this particular one. This is La Madrina. Let's see what it tastes like. Thank you so much. Once again, the loveliest bartender around and... Oh wow, she makes a good drink. <laughs> That's incredible. And look, even a flower. Now when we we're up in the Haven, I mentioned the private access elevator. Now that's gonna access all of the decks all the way up and down the ship where the Haven suites are, but you're also gonna have this private elevator bank. So it's towards the aft of the ship on six, seven, and eight. As you're enjoying all the spaces here, you can head directly down to the spot you wanna be. So if you're dining at Nama Sushi, you can head on out, of course. If you wanna visit the Chocolate Cowboy, you can head directly to the bar as well. The way it's gonna work is you're gonna take your key card, you're gonna tap it right here, that's gonna activate the elevator bank. Now only those who are staying in the Haven will have access to this space. You can head directly up into the Haven Lounge or whichever floor that your suite is on. Now they say there's nothing quite like coming home again and for me, this is home. Nama sushi and sashimi here on board the Prima is absolutely delicious and it's my favorite way to have pre-dinner, dinner or post-dinner if you love sushi hand rolls, sashimi, and of course they have a wide variety of cold and hot dishes as well. You're gonna love Nama Sushi. It's a fantastic concept and it's a beautiful space as well. Now you've got these tables set a little bit up here and then as we walk around, you can see they have the booth style seating, tables for two, but my favorite spot is always at the sushi bar. They have some of the best sushi chefs in the entire world. They're fantastic, they're interactive, they're gonna make it fun, and of course, all the delicious items. You can see some of the fresh fish right here. And then as we wrap around, you can see that you have a little bit more seating over to the side. Now it's not a really large space, so you're definitely gonna to wanna to book this one ahead of time. And like I said, for me, I might do that six, seven times on a seven night cruise. Yet again, another beautiful space is Hasuki. This is the Teppan style dining experience here on board, which is always a favorite of my family. You can see the decor in here, you've got those blues, even the overhead is completely decorated. And what's very unique about this particular space is in addition to the large teppanyaki tables, they also have teppanyaki tables for two and four as well. Now the concept behind this is you're gonna pick your main course whether you want that filet mignon, the delicious scallops or shrimp, the chicken. They also have some fantastic vegetarian and tofu options as well. And then beyond that, the chef's gonna cook everybody, everyone's favorite, the fried rice. Now it is dinner and a show. You're gonna rock out, maybe even sing a little bit of We Will Rock You. The chefs are really a lot of fun, which makes it perfect for every single member of the family. Now, as I mentioned, you can see that you have these larger tables here. So if you're dining with a group, you wanna meet new people, you can dine in this setting. And in the front of the restaurant, they also have tables for two and for four. So a much more intimate setting as well. But if you've dined at Teppanyaki on the other ships, you know exactly what to expect. It's just as delicious and it's even more fun. Now we're inside Hudson's, which is the first of the main dining rooms here on board. It's the complimentary dining experience. It's a beautifully elegant space, and it introduces a brand new dining concept for Norwegian cruise lines. Norwegians looked at the best restaurants on land, and what they've determined is the rotational menu is something that maybe will go with the way of the past. In fact, Norwegian has been in the forefront of the dining experiences throughout. They really introduced specialty dining to the entire industry, and they also induced, introduced the concept of freestyle dining, where you can dine when you want. Now what they've done here with Hudson's is there's only one menu. It doesn't rotate each and every single day. They have a delicious menu for lunch and a delicious menu for dinner as well. And it's really, really large. But the concept behind it is that each and every single one of the chefs can master one or two dishes. What that means is that you're gonna deliver each and every single time a phenomenal dining experience. My initial concern was would there be enough items? And what I found is that it's quite a wide menu. You combine that with the specialty options around the ship. It really has been an exquisite dining experience here on board the Norwegian Prima. Now in the space, you've got smaller tables for two. Of course, you have larger tables for four or even up to 10 or 12 for groups. But what this is all about are the incredible panoramic windows. It wraps all the way around 270 degrees, so you have a phenomenal view of the ocean wherever you're sitting. Whether you're sitting right by the windows or you're in one of the booths or the special dining tables tucked away, you're sure to have a delicious meal 
and an incredible view. Now we're down on deck six of the Penrose Atrium. It's where you're gonna find the Penrose Bar, and I'll take you there in just a second. But I wanted to show you how everything really opens up. You've got a beautiful view of the sculpture up above. You can see all the decks up above as well, but you really get a concept of the high design. Even the staircases are absolutely elegant and beautiful. Now tucked in the corner, you've got a bit more of the high-end retail with the Roberto Coin Shop, and then you also have the Beauty Shop. So this is where you stop by if you wanna get some perfume, some cosmetics, once again at duty-free prices. And it's also where you're gonna find the Sundry Shop. So that's the area where you can stop by. Maybe you forgot an item at home. They're also gonna have alcohol and tobacco. Those are some of those options that have a ton of duty at home, but here on board, they're duty-free. Now I wanted to point out the Cruise Next desk. So when you're on your Norwegian cruise, one of the things that you can do is you can purchase Cruise Next certificates. When you get home, we can help you utilize those to book your dream vacation. And by booking those here, you're gonna get an added value. They're gonna give you some onboard credit to offset. So you're really getting just about a two for one price. And who doesn't love a little bit of free money? Now, as we're heading back through the atrium, you can see the furniture here, absolutely beautiful. So it's multi-purpose. You've got small little areas where you can sit tucked away for two or four. And it's also connected with the Penrose Bar, which gives the entire atrium its name. Now, some also call it the Casino Bar because the casino's just inside and they actually have some casino games in the bar itself. Now you'll see here classic bar style seating, tables for two, four, and also the sofa loungers. And then right over here is the bar itself all of your favorite cocktails. They've got a wide variety to choose from, or you can have the bartender choose for you. So now we're inside the casino. It's a really large space and you're gonna find all of your favorite casino games. They've got the Kino and the multi-pick games on the far side. You've got slot machines wrapped all the way around. Of course, they have all of these digital machines as well. Now you're gonna find all of your favorite table games. You've got craps here, roulette, Blackjack, Ultimate Hold'em, one of my favorites. I was really excited to see a Pie Gow table here on board. You also are gonna have an actual sit-down Texas Hold'em table that's hand dealt. It's one of my favorite social experiences in the casino. I've had a really fun time here on board. Now you've got the cage here where you're gonna be sure to cash out before you head out with all of those winnings. You've got more slots on this side. And I did wanna point out that they're gonna have a separate smoking area. So it is glassed off on the far side down there. That's the only part of the casino where you can smoke in. So it does separate it out, which is really nice. In there, you're also gonna find tables and all of your favorite slot and multi-use games. One final one is the Paradise Lotto. They have that on just about every single cruise ship now throughout all of the entire industry, but it's a place where you can play the lotto each and every single day and maybe even upgrade to that top haven suite on the ship. Now the casino also has a high stakes room. So if you're looking for some high end gambling, they've got a nice little lounge tucked to the side. You've got a Baccarat table here, you've got blackjack, and then they also have some high end slot machines tucked in the corner. Now the second main dining room here on board is the Commodore room. Now it's a complimentary option, just like Hudson's. It's gonna have the same menu as well and the same concepts. Now what I've personally found is this one is a little bit easier to get exactly when you want, as Hudson seems to be a little bit more popular because it's such a brand new concept on board. Now what you're gonna find here is booth style seating, tables for two and four, and of course they can put them together for larger groups. And one thing that I really like is they have these really large porthole windows where you can look out and watch the world go by. Now what you'll see here is it's segmented up into intimate spaces, one of the themes around this entire ship. More of the beautiful decor, I really like the chandeliers up above, but you're gonna take advantage of once again, an amazing included restaurant at no additional cost. Now, Norwegian's original specialty restaurant and still the fan favorite is Cagney's Steakhouse. This is an unapologetic steakhouse. It's absolutely delicious and it comes exactly with all the things you think it would. You've got those beautiful appetizers like the jumbo shrimp. As you work your way through the menu, you're gonna, of course, get to that incredible selection of steaks. For me personally, it's always gonna be a juicy ribeye because that's where all the flavor's at. In addition, they have all your favorite sides and some of the best desserts on the entire ship. Now it's a really large space here on board the Prima and for good reason, because so many people love it. I definitely recommend that you book this as soon as you possibly can. Now keep in mind, each and every passenger, depending on the stateroom you've booked in, can book those at different times. Now you can see it's a really large space with booth style seating on the far side here. You've got tables for two and four, and then down the middle they have quite a large booth setting here. But what I love about Cagney's is the open kitchen concept. 
as soon as you walk in the door, you get that intoxicating smell. It's absolutely delectable. And as you sit and dine, you're gonna be able to see them prepare your food. Now they also have a setup with several tables for two along the windows. You're definitely gonna to wanna to request that if that's your preference, but definitely stop by and enjoy Cagney Steakhouse while you're here on the Prima. Now another great spot to grab your favorite cocktail, especially before or after you're going to dinner at the Commodore Room or Cagney Steakhouse is Belvedere Bar. Now you're gonna find yet again more intimate spaces down here. You've got booth style seating stuck in the corner here. You've got right around there, you're gonna have some small tables of two and four, but the main centerpiece is the bar itself. You've got more of those beautiful textures on the wall all the way around, the full bar menu, and of course, they do serve Belvedere here. I wanna reiterate one more time how awesome the bartenders here are on board. They're interactive, they're here to make sure you have an amazing time, keep you smiling, and keep those drinks flowing. First off, thank you so much for spending your time with us here today on board the incredible Norwegian Prima. As you can see, the design is flawless. All of the different amenities, entertainment, activities, they really truly take the entire cruise experience to the highest level possible. And when you're ready to book your next cruise with Norwegian, Regent, or Oceana, make sure you reach out to Heart Travel or do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of our interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value. And of course, you'll get that hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now I'm gonna go racing. <laughs>